Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today we are on to the 5120 AMX tier 10, or I'm sorry, tier 9 French heavy tank. And out of all the tier 9 French or heavy tanks, this is the lightest, worst armored one in the game. Because it plays more like a medium, and honestly, it's not my cup of tea. It's a great flanker. Um, good support tank, but obviously can't hold the front line, and it's got burst damage, so, I mean, you're out of the game for a while. If you have patience, this is a good tank for you. However, if you like to brawl with your heavy tanks, this is not the tank for you. If you're impatient like I am, don't get a 5120. Um, wait until you've developed some patience in the game because that's kind of what this is. Now I'm not saying you can't be on the front line you definitely can be on front line support um, but you're just just remember that you're going to be shot at by everybody because you're a squishy target and so many people want to shoot the squishy easy target. Now I get my track ripped off here but he backs up so I'm not at any risk to lose my track again otherwise I would have used the repair kit Um, however, I was also ammo rack, so I decided to use it for that. Um, and I can't remember if I had enough time to decide on which one I wanted to do there. I'm pretty sure because he backed up, I wanted to fix my ammo rack. If you would have stayed there to shoot at me, I would have fixed my track and just backed up. And now we're clipping. So not too bad, and we get 1100 damage out. Missed the first shot on the patents when we got three rounds into the Centurion. Going for a reload, and we're almost reloaded, so I'm going to start heading back up here, looking for a shot in that patent. Now this guy backs into me. And when I'm fighting this flank, I'm always paying attention to the G4 area. Um, if all of a sudden the reds start pouring through that, that was a terrible shot there, how embarrassing. I'll have to show you guys that. And that was a good shot. Third one in, track in place so he doesn't wiggle around, and then we're able to shut him down. So we're going to back up and clip him. Be careful on this hill, already can get shots here. And now, they don't, they don't pour into the G4 sector, however, there's a ton of tanks in G0. So, that prompts me to let everybody know to defend the base. Hopefully I get somebody to come back with me. Somebody says on my way, already says defend the base, I'll let him know affirmative. Okay, so it looks like we've won G4, G5, um, so they should come back to the base, but it looks like they're pushing forward to the one line. Okay, those guys can't have maps or they don't know how to read their map. So I don't have enough health to make this happen, so we're going to give a GG. Hopefully that prompts somebody to come back. This is the most irritating part of the game right here. Besides artillery, because obviously artillery is more irritating. But now my teammates in F1 are saying defend the base. Sorry guys, you're so map illiterate that you decided to drive away from the base because all of the reds were driving towards our base, and I'm left here to defend it with 400 hit points in a heavy tank that has zero armor. It's not gonna happen. Not, not to mention this patent is like, screw capping. I'm gonna go get some damage. Look at there's a 5120 that I can just auto pen right here. And game over, because that's what happens when your teammates can't read a map. So, we take second place with our 2300 damage, zero assist, zero blocked, um, and only 500, 163 XP earned. Now, I don't want to say that this tank can't affect a game, because it definitely, if you're patient, like if I was patient there, I had a little bit more hit points to play with, I probably could have had a better effect on defending the base. 
but since I didn't trade very effectively, which I don't too often in my auto loading French tanks, um, it could have been a different outcome, maybe. The problem is I would have had to throw my tank anyways, but I could have got resets. If there was someone on low health, take them off. Otherwise, just spread my shots, excuse me, out and get resets on everyone. Alright, so this is an interesting matchup. We have a platoon of waffles on our team. And we decide to go city. So I'm feeling fairly confident. However, waffle players generally will sit back and not be aggressive. Can I blame them for that? Well, when I play my waffle, I cannot stand to have that much power in my hands and not be using it. So bless their hearts if they like to sit in the back and wait for somebody to make a mistake. I just can't do that in my waffle. I like to be front line. If I die, I die. But I need to be ripping those shells and getting good lols. Alright, so we're going to wait right here, see what my waffles do. Maybe see what gets spotted. Generally, there's going to be a one or two tanks that come down this road. Kind of disappointed that there isn't. And then that waffle spots a E4 out in the mountains. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to leave. If these guys aren't going to push anywhere, I'm not going to go. Like, if they all pushed, what are you going to do with four waffle waffles push on you? You're going to get one shot off and then you're going to be dead. But they don't want to push. I mean, I can see they don't want to drive out into the open, like in the 3-4 field, but they could at least push forward in, in from the city. So um, they choose not to do that. So I'm going to get to the middle, see if I can get some flanking shots here. And it looks like the waffles are starting to shift now to the middle of the map as well. They don't have an overwhelming amount of tanks up in the north. There's a T-57 Heavy over here. He hits my track. He does pen me the second time, so I fix my track and back up, which then he breaks my track. And I say GG because I really just need help from these waffles. Like, if you guys could just come to the middle, we could probably win the middle and then shoot the guys up the butt that are in the B line. Now they start moving. So they started moving and then they decided not to move anymore. And now, since, I mean, I'm not saying I take credit for this, but since I pinged them, now they start to move forward. Not sure how long our TDs can last in the north, but my DPM is uh, limited, so it's not like I can go help them. I could drop a clip and then try to get out of there, and that's just kind of what makes this tank awkward. Is You, you want to be with a horde, or you want to be in a good flanking position, but you don't want to be in a spot where everybody can just turn and deal with you. Because if they want can turn and deal with you, they are just going to turn and destroy you. You have no armor. So we get a shot into the side of that T-57 Heavy and we are up to 392 damage. A very unimpressive game right now and I just don't want to kill myself right away in this tank because I want to try to make it somewhat formidable decent game um, since I'm going to be featuring this for you guys. And we track this T-57 Heavy and look how fast a platoon of waffles can destroy a tank. It's stupid fast. Alright, so there's a tank over there. We can't quite see him. Back up. Looks like the Conqueror pulls out. Let's see if we can get his track off. And before we even get our second shell loaded, he's dead. Alright. wonder how many shells our waffles have. I'd like to get one more like tracking shot and watch, let my waffles destroy him, but I decided to go for the clip. There's only 55 seconds left in the match, and then we're going to cap them. It looks like Artie's going to the cap as well. And one another Conqueror gets absolutely obliterated. Generally, capping this side is 
pretty difficult. Now, if they're buried in the bottom of the city, you can sometimes cap the western spawn, but they only have to get to, like, F9 and you can get spotted on the base, unless you're, like, a really sneaky scout or something, or tank destroyer with good camo. Alright, so we're going to drive over to this mouse, see if we can light him on fire. Try to get a shot into his side. And that's Waffle Platoon for you. Wanna watch mouse disappear? Just grab a Waffle Platoon. Alright, so we are out of time. Both games have been capped at this point. So let's see how we've done so far. 1100 damage, not great, but we did pick up 2700 assisted damage, which is probably the best so far out of any of the tier 9 heavy tanks. Uh, so we're up to 3,500 damage, 2,700 assisted, have blocked zero, and we're 1,300 uh, XP earned. 818 in a winning battle is not great. So XP on this hasn't been that beautiful, um, and that's kind of the maps and the teams that we've been getting. Um, and my impatient play, this just doesn't fit my play style so it's it's awkward for me it's like putting the round peg in the square hole okay we'll jam it in there but it, it won't be pretty all right so let's get to the third battle see if we can make this respectable we at least need to pick up a win here uh, to get the XP up to where the other ones are at so like I said before, I'm going to do a playoff, and I'm not even sure like what tank. I'm not done with them, to be honest. I got to through the Wizard 1-4, and I have three more to go. So I got the Type 4, and Type 4, a meal 2, and the 50 TP, which 50 TP, I can't wait. This is one of my favorite tanks. However, with the 75% crew, I'm probably not gonna like that much, just because his gun handling is so bad. Um, anyways, let's get to the, we're not to those tanks. Let's talk about the 5120. 5120 grinds, uh, it's not too bad. I really like the 5100, just because it's got the six shell clip potential, and you can have that gun on, on the 5120, however, once you get the four shot play style down, it's really not that bad. It's just, um, it's a different tank. Uh, the 5100 fit me a little bit better just because I could get a lot more damage out and then, and then run away, reload, whatever. And this one, you kind of have to stick around and wait for your inner clip to get through. Um, but then, like I said before, the other French heavy line, the tier 7, a lot of people hate it. I liked it, um, but I can't say it's a great tank. Um, and then the tier 8 is the 50 hundo, so then, the, then you have this. And then moving on up to the 50B. 50B plays a lot like this tank. Um, so once you get used to this, you can handle the 50B. But, like I said, you gotta be a patient player to be very successful in these tanks. You gotta trade effectively. It's hard because the inner clip is so slow and the gun handling is so bad. Try to sneak a shot into there. Unfortunately, we shoot the gas tank. Now, we have a lot of tanks on this flank. So, I'm fairly confident that we'll, we'll win this. So what I want to do is just make sure that I pick up enough damage here. Able to get a shot through that gas tank. I decide, so let's just go for a reload. And somebody pings the middle of the map. Doesn't look like I can see that scout. I am targeted. Not sure where that's from. Looks like already swings at my paladin. Go 
people over here. There's too many guns looking right here. Like I said, I can't bounce anything. You might be able to bounce something off your turret or off your hull. But you are not going to bounce anything off this turret, so. Look for a shot in the Pershing. We're able to pound that through his turret. Somebody shoots us in the side of the head. And all of a sudden, all our tanks over here have been destroyed. So that's not looking too good. We're down three tanks right now. Let's see if we can get the binos up, get something spotted. And I'm detected. So we're going to fall back. We're going to try to get shots into this T-44. Fortunately, he backs up right into that wall, so I'm unable to get a shot into him. Now he pulls out, he gets a shot into him, and look how bad this that reload speed is just so tragic. Alright, so we decide let's get a shell, or a new clip. The team in the middle starts to push into the whole enemy base. I'm sure that's a really good idea. take their RD out. I'll let my guy know that I only have 16 seconds left. And your gun just cannot stay active in this. If I play this for a while and it gets and I get used to it, I feel like I can rip it out pretty well. But it takes too much patience. I don't enjoy it. I can't ever say like I've really enjoyed the 5120 or the 50B for that matter. All right, so now we're gonna switch flanks because we're starting to slowly get surrounded. So I'm gonna try to clean the ridge up here. If I can get these guys dead. Well, I was going to say before my teammates die, but now I just lost two more. And I'm sure those two are just seconds away from getting surrounded. So the Udez pops his head up here. And there's someone behind us. Great. So there's someone on the K line or the zero line that has shots in. Get a shot into the Pershing, shut him down, and we'll continue. And look at that bloom. God, what a beautiful bloom. Now that is 75% crew, but still, this bloom is tragic. So we get a shot into the T 54, and then we're going to look to see if we can spot whatever's shooting at us in the side and try to get out of here, to be honest. And I don't really want to go the long way. We're actually just going to try to put this hill in between us and them. Unfortunately, we don't make it in time. We take another shell, and there's only three of us left. My E-75 is able to kill one of their tanks, and then these two get spotted, which makes it really awkward for me since there's still a tank behind me. Hopefully, he can't see me here, and he can. Just shot right over my back and right in front of me. So I decide, you know what, I'm just going to go. Get a shot into the T-30 before he shuts me down. Or, I'm sorry, T-28. <clears throat> and we'll switch to the E-75. Now, maybe I shouldn't have left the E-75. Um, not that I really did much. E-75 gets shut down. T-90 comes around the corner. Shuts our artillery down, and that is the third game. We get a loss, so the XP isn't going to be there to compete for the end. Um, but Just remember, I'm going to take uh, the best of the, the highest in damage assists blocked and XP earned. So 6,000 damage is pretty solid. 3,000 assists, I think, is the highest so far. 400 blocked, 1,800 XP earned. So... Uh, Stat-wise, it's not terrible, but you see how much I can affect the battle in this thing. It's not very much. Uh, we lost two out of three, and it just it can get in and out of battle very well, but the 
it just has to sit idle for so long and it's hard to get shots when the whole team can just turn and shoot at you. I did have to play a little passively because the 75% crew also limits the tank. But Aqua Babylon, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.